Of Mars and solar power grid in the Philippines is basically destroying so the power grid the solar power is destroying the power grid in the Philippines according to this report data from the National Grid Corporation of the Philippines show that solar power has caused stress on the power grid leading to brownouts and blackouts the data shows that Solar power is frying the grid by producing either too much or too little electricity, triggering failures and blackouts in the Visayas Island group of the Philippines. This is coming to a country near you, by the way. Uh, Routine. Quick. Day in, day out. Sorry about that. From point A to B and back again. I shut off my speakers. So. For those who can't. The country has already dialed down its geothermal and coal, coal power plants to their minimum load requirements in an attempt to avert di disaster. But there has already been damage to the grid, subsequently, power interruptions. Damage is going to get worse as well because the island's power grid can't handle excess capacity. In order to, for the power grid to function, demand for energy must exactly match power supply. Power, solar power runs the risk of providing either too much energy or not enough as it cannot easily adjust output. Adding green power, which only provides power at intermittent and unpredictable times, makes the power grid more fragile, especially in developing countries. Power demand is relatively predictable, and conventional power plants, plans like nuclear plants and natural gas, can adjust output accordingly. Peak power demand also occurs in the evenings when power, solar power is going offline. Then talks of wind. Additionally, solar and wind systems require conventional backups to produce electricity because they do not generate electricity when it is most needed. Since the output of solar and wind plants cannot be predicted with high accuracy by forecast, grid operators have to keep excess reserve running just in case. This also places extra stress on the grid which can cause power brownouts or blackouts. Uh, well, I can break this down. There's actually a way to uh, do solar that could take a bunch of uh, save us a whole lot of energy, but I don't think the will is to do that. A lot of people, folks don't know that your uh, most of your devices in your home could be run off 12 volts DC, which is could come from solar power. Uh, even your washer, if you uh, look at the motor, that's a DC electric motor. It's a big, there's a big long technical reason why this, uh, we have, why this is, but the, re the basic reason that we have alternating current is that alternating current is much more efficient when transmitted over long distance than is DC electric. So as a result, there has to be a bunch of conversions. That's a later video if I choose to. But the way you, we could do a lot of this stuff is to have individual devices 
partially powered uh, by their own solar cells or have them uh, runnable on 12 volts DC. But that is doable in most cases. You know, your average radio, for instance, even TVs could run on 12 volts DC. Which means you can have a panel, solar panels that power them directly. Yeah. And you wouldn't need any inverters, transformers, or anything. That kills you on the uh, efficiency every time you have to convert electricity. But we could have most of our gadgets could have partial solar power and take a lot of power off the grid. But that's not going to happen. So there are some solar powered things like uh, calculators and whatnot. But you're not going to see a lot of it. The will isn't there to do this. We're going to piddle around the stib with. Uh, these big solar panels, which are very costly and very inefficient, like I said, have to go through an electricity, electrical conversion in order to be of any use. So there you go. There you go. Your marvelous solar pa powers destroying power grid in the Philippines. This won't move the liberals one bit. I think that's... They'll just find a way around it. They'll just rationalize it some way. That's what liberalism is. It's just rationalization of basic facts. I'm Artifacts Mars. Thanks for watching.